grocery haul. Six apples. These are sugar bee apples. These are the best apples on the market. Bananas. Limes. Two sweet yellow onions. Ginger root. Garlic. Grapes. Matchstick carrots. Cabbage. Small, tiny bell peppers. Have you ever seen them so small? Jalapeno peppers. Cauliflower. Brussels sprouts. Canned peaches because they didn't have fresh. Coconut flakes. Golden raisins. A turkey thigh. Pasta. Veggie hash browns. These are made from cauliflower. Cheese. Chicken and vegetable stock. More wild rice. Yes, I'm always eating this. It's expensive too. These are like $8 a pack or something. A loaf of sourdough. Tortillas. Coconut milk. Peanut butter. Ground allspice. Crunchy granola raisin bran. Sprite Zero. And two of these sparkling flavored waters. And that grocery haul cost me $130. Like, I know that I eat pretty extravagantly for one person. Um, like, I could I could do less fresh, fresh produce and that sort of thing. But, like, I value eating well. And, uh, yeah, that's $130 for a food that will last me for a week. I used to be able to get away with $100, but uh, thanks, Biden. And I got some peanut M&Ms because I guess I just didn't eat enough candy last night. I'm gonna make a recipe that I've never made before that I found in my cookbook, Easy PCOS Diet Cookbook. So I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. And over the last couple of months, I've been trying to learn some recipes that help with weight management, uh, inflammation, and insulin resistance. So the recipe I have chosen today is Tunisian Turkey. All right, first I am heating a tablespoon of olive oil in a large skillet. And then to this, I am going to add boneless, skinless turkey thighs chopped into large chunks. Now the recipe called for 20 ounces of chicken thighs, but unfortunately they didn't have boneless, skinless at my grocery store. So I had to debone and skin them myself. And uh, after they were deboned and de-skinned, there was only 15 ounces. So <laughs> I have a little less turkey than I'm supposed to, but I'm gonna brown these on both sides for about six minutes. Okay, after six minutes, I moved all the turkey off onto a plate, including, there wasn't really very many juices, but they say save the juices as well. And next I am going to add one chopped sweet onion. And also two tablespoons fresh grated garlic and two tablespoons fresh grated ginger in as well. And now I'm gonna saute these for about three minutes. The onions have slightly caramelized. Now I'm going to add our turkey. The recipe calls for two chopped peaches, but they only had canned peaches at the store. Unfortunately, they're out of season. So I just chopped up a can of peaches. And then one quarter cup chicken stock, I'm gonna add these into the skillet. Isn't this just so odd? Now I'm going to reduce the heat to low and let that simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, now it's been 10 minutes and we are gonna add a quarter cup golden raisins, a teaspoon ground cinnamon, and a pinch of ground allspice. This has got to be just the strangest combination of ingredients I have ever used. Peach, garlic, ginger, cinnamon, raisin, turkey. I guess we will find out in 10 minutes how it tastes. Okay, I let it simmer for another 10 minutes and now it's time to try it. It looks really good. Like, it looks so interesting and it... <laughs> It smells very good too. Definitely the most prominent smells are the cinnamon and raisin. And I am excited to try this. I mean, that combination of ingredients, this just has to take, taste like something I've never tasted before, right? This is gonna be a completely new flavor here. So I'm gonna try and get a, I have not tasted it at all. So I'm gonna try and get a bite with a little bit of everything, some raisins, some onions, a peach, 
and some turkey. Okay. So here we go. What in the world? Hold up, I need to, I need to try that again. Hmm. You know what's strange is it's surprisingly bland actually. I don't know what I was expecting. Hmm. That was a little disappointing. I mean... It's totally edible, but I was expecting it to have some sort of strong, unique taste to it. And, um, it just kind of tastes like a... Like a sweet turkey like a sweet little turkey I wanted it to knock my socks off and it's not done that so unfortunate but I'll eat all of it don't worry you know what I always forget salt the recipe didn't have any salt in it what if I added salt to this would that make it a little bit more kicky yeah it's better with some salt. Maybe I just need a better cookbook. It's a Tunisian turkey, but I don't blame this on the people of Tunisia. I blame this on the cookbook. I should get Gordon Ramsay's cookbook. Like my brother-in-law loves Gordon Ramsay and he swears by that cookbook. Maybe I should check it out. Cause really as long as I'm cooking my own food, that's the important thing, right? What I was trying to cut out was like refined sugars. Never mind that I ate like 2,000 calories worth of sh worth of candy last night. We're gonna ignore that, okay? Um, but as long as I'm cooking for myself, that's just way healthier than the way that I had been eating, which is like, you know, oh, basically only eating bread and pasta. You know, vegetables, meat, spices. Other things. I, I know how to eat those things now and I can cook some good things. I just need to learn more good things because the good things that I can cook are way better than having two peanut butter sandwiches every single day. So I had therapy today and my therapist and I came up with a new treatment plan for the next three months and in that treatment plan, I have agreed to try and talk to a man at least once a week on a dating app. And that plan really kind of scares the shit out of me. And I think that I'll, I'll probably put, I'll probably make that in uh, tomorrow's video is reactivating my Twitter and trying to find a man to talk to. Stay tuned tomorrow for day nine of Vlogmas. Bye!